ADP strength society, guess what? Pull day, aka back and biceps. Let's get this going. We've got a plan. Let's do it. Mm. So, round one, let's get this thing going. We're gonna start off with, I've got this bar, but I want you to use if you have a little bar. It's a pole, it's a broom stick, whatever you've got to do. Snap that head up it, get some bags on the end, get some weight in. Use hair bubbles or whatever you can to tie the bags to it. Anything, get inventive, cable ties, let's do it. Come on, we're gonna get as much weight in as we can. So, first exercise, we're gonna be starting off with deadlifts. We'll slightly vary the angle. Lowering the bar down, right down to the floor today, we're gonna to pull up. Stick your bum back on the way now. Keep your chest up to lock that back. As you can see, the position doesn't move. Keep those shoulder plates pinched in. You can incorporate the lats into it as well. Bend that knee and lower the weight down. And drive it up with the shoulders rather than the hips. Two more. And squeeze. Excellent. Slowly winding. We're going to go into a high pull. Up onto the feet to help with the movement. You're going to put some force in. Make sure those elbows stay above the bar throughout the exercise. Halfway. Really force it up. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we can going to combine both of them and turn it into a clean. Here we go. Lowering down and. Flip those elbows underneath and land on the shoulder. We'll start looking at using the hips to help the movement. But for now, let's just work. Keep those shoulder blades in hips. Ten down, halfway. Halfway through the momentum on the way up. Gonna flip those elbows in the knees to catch it. Two more. Boom. And down, round one, four sets, 20 apiece, three exercises, come on. Round two, we're gonna need the bar, same as the last one. We're also gonna need your dumbbells or equivalent weights. So we're gonna be starting up with, bent over rows, getting into that silver back position, really stick those hips back, it's like a quarter of the way through the deadlift motion. We're gonna pull it in this direction, in an actual rowing motion, rather than just pulling it straight up and using the wrong muscles. In for 20, as soon as we've done those, we're gonna grab the dumbbells and go into back flies. Make sure we're keeping those shoulder blades pinched all the way through. Let's get some. Grabbing your bar, lower yourself in, keep that back tight, abs tight, chest up, and row. Imagine you're trying to force those elbows up as high as you can, as if you were trying to tear straight through your middle. It's going to give a more intense squeeze and really hit in. 14, 15, 5, 4, right back into the hip. 2, Hold, and down, into the dumbbells, here we go, three, two, one, and fly. You're sending the weight back to the hip, that's how it varies from the rear deltoid exercise. Keep those shoulder blades pinched all the way through, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 5, 4, 3, 2, boom. Easy peasy, guess what, another four sets, let's get 20 a piece, get that work done, come on. So, round three, what we're going to be doing now is single arm rows using a platform, one hand down, let's get those hips back, either keep your feet in line, so if you need to, put one foot back, the foot back on the side of the arm you're using, make sure those hips stay in line and you keep that silver back position regardless. As soon as we've done those, you're either going to use your barbell or your dumbbells to do a Yates row. We're going to turn it to the palms to face and forwards. Do the same motion, you'll notice it pulls your traps back into place to get a different type of hip. Fantastic, here we go. Start with your weak arm. And go. Two, three, keep those shoulder blades pinched. Five, exactly the same rowing motion, it's a circular motion. Eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, and squeeze. Excellent, switch sides, 
Make sure you do that pass nice. Watch the motion. Leaning in front, just in front of your shoulder. You're going to keep that shoulder blade back and pull. One, two, three. Look at this arc in motion. Pulling the weight into the hip, making sure the elbow drives right and good. Eight, nine, ten. Five more. Five, four, three, two. Last one. Boom. So, I'm going to use the bar for the next part. I want you to try with the dumbbells if you haven't got the bar available. If you have, let's do it. So, palms facing forward, keep those shoulder blades back and row. Keep that chest up. Leg, legs slightly bent. Make sure those shoulder blades are right back. Two more. Hold and down. Again, imagine it's a guillotine. You're trying to drive your strength through the body and cut yourself in half. The more those elbows come back, the more the muscles contract. The better the hip. Four sets, 15 a piece, three exercises. Let's go. So, round four on the deck. What you're going to need is your resistance band doing towel. We're going to be doing lying lap pulls into back flies lying. And then we're going to do Superman, the same as we did last week. Why? Because it works. So, it's important that we vary things up and make sure that we get as many different hits on the muscles as possible without trying to vary too much, but without doing exactly the same exercises every time. Making it a little bit boring, even though you can't beat the originals. Right, so here we go. Laying yourself down, just push that out of the way. Using your towel, you're going to put it as taut as you can. Arms out forwards, chest slightly up. And then imagine you were doing a lat pull down in the gym. Drive those elbows down towards your hips and put it into your collarbone. Three, four, again. Keep your shoulder blades back. Keep your shoulder blades down. Eight, nine, really pull that taut. Ten. Five, four, three, two, squeeze. Excellent, pop that down. To move this out of the way so don't break my arm. Hands down on the side. And three, two, go. Lift those palms across the floor. More back towards your hip so that we're not hitting the rear down plate again. Rise them up as high as you can. Three, Two, one, excellent, arms straight out. Now we're gonna do the Superman. Even though he only flies with one arm, we know that, but never mind. So, superhero books, come on. Arms straight out, and you're gonna lift your knees up off the floor and your chest up off the floor at the same time. And go. Squeezing that lower back. Five more. Excellent, 15 done. So, what I want you to be really mindful of is if you can feel it more on one side of your lower back than the other, slightly manipulate your hips so that you can get that even squeeze. That's going to help with imbalances in the hips, which is going to help with everything. Everybody wants to be able to stand up properly. Look after your back and your back will look after you. Round done, four sets, let's go. Round five, three exercises, dumbbell curls, hammer curls and zottermon curls. What's a zottermon curl? You're about to find out. What we're going to need, something reasonably heavy for the bicep curls and the hammer curls. When we do the zottermans, we're going to drop the weight down and use something a little bit lighter. So, here we go. Grabbing those weights, keeping those arms down to the side, palms facing in. We're going to twist it up, facing that palm towards the shoulder at the top. Try and take the swing out. There we go. Look at the position I'm stopping at the top. That's going to get us our maximum pump without taking the gravity and the resistance off the weight. If you bring it right up like this, that's your cheeky wrap. That's going to take the pressure off the bicep. We're not here to take pressure off stuff. Here we go. Ten. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more. Boom. Put that weight right down to the side. We're going to bring it up in one movement now. Straight up. Right in front of the shoulder. And hammer time. Go. Two. Just to the right angle. As soon as we get to there, stop and squeeze. Five, six, and these are heavy. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Place those down, grab you with the weight. And then go down to these beautiful ones. So, 15 reps for the Zutmans as well. In fact, 
Let us do 20. What we're going to do, bring it up by the hammer curl, twist it so your palm is facing down, lower the weight down, hammer it up, twist and down, twist up. There we go. Feels really easy at first, after a second, starts to burn. Seven, eight, nine, ten, there we go. So right into the forearm. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, five more, five, four, three, two, one more. Boom. You're going to feel that all through your forearm, slightly in the bicep brachia. Then really get all those fibers going in the forearm. Excellent. Time for seven in the organism. Round done. Four sets. Get it done. One more to go. Come on. So here we go. On to the last one. Barbell curls. If you don't have a barbell, get your pole, get the weight up. We're going to curl this weight up. Exactly the same thing. Stop in there. When we bring it up, as you can see, the forearm is vertical which is going to take the pressure off the bicep. It's going to give it a little rest. We're not here to rest. You've got all day to rest. Come on, grab this bar block. We're going to go for just outside shoulder with grip. Lowering it right down so we can bring it in right from the bicep. And three, two, one. Here we go. One, 25 reps. Two, three. Keep the upper arm still. We're going to use those laps we've just been working on to hold the upper arm. Keep it in one position. Eight, come on. Nine, 10, 15 more. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, keep going. Nine, keep that stomach tight. Eight, seven, six, trying to avoid the swing. Five, control on the way down. Four, three, two, squeeze, and down. Magnificent work. As you can see on board, the last one's gonna be to failure. So we're going to do as many as you can. Ideally out of the 25, let's see how we get on. So, pull day, complete. Absolutely smashed it. ADP Strength Society, like, subscribe, drop me a follow, Andy underscore dance underscore physics, with the at at the beginning. Show me some love. Smash it out. We've got shoulders tomorrow. Then we've got a strength session on Friday. That's the week done. Two days of rest just to do some cardio and get whatever you want to do in on top. Easy peasy, let's make gains.